confidence in Christianity is like your superpower. It is all about believing in God and Jesus' abilities and promises. It helps us to get through different challenges and gives us a sense of contentment in Him. So, today, let us look at ways in which you can become confident in God. So, first, let us look at what confidence really is. So, what is confidence? So, confidence is the feeling or belief that one can have faith in or rely on something or someone. In this case, being confident in God means having faith in Him, being able to rely on Him and knowing that He will never fail you. So, grab your notebook and your pen and let us get right into the video. So, the first pointer to become confident in God is to know what the Bible says about you. If you want to become confident in God, you have to read and engage in His words because in this book here, the Bible, is a lot of promises and beautiful words that God uses to describe you. Let me give you an example, one that I love. In Isaiah chapter 43 verses 4, I'm going to put it up on the screen. It says, others were given in exchange for you. I traded their lives for yours. And this is God speaking to you. Because you are precious to me. You are honored and I love you. Jesus says that about you. If God, the person who created you, is saying such lovely words about you what more words do you need to be satisfied your creator is telling you how precious you are to him how worthy and honored and loved you are by him and there are many other verses that that talks about you and the the words that god uses to describe you so i am going to give you a 10 verses that you can go through when you're having bible study or whenever to see and look what really God says about you so you can have that confidence that God is with and for you. Read the word, guys. It's in the word. So these are 10 Bible verses that you can look over whenever you're having Bible study or you just need to read the Bible to see what Jesus, what God, your creator, says about you. The second pointer to become more confident in God is to journalize. This may seem like, uh, like it doesn't really matter, but guys, it does. Let me tell you, I have a book that I write down everything that God did for me. Like whenever I read the Bible and I find special verses in it or verses that stand out to me, I write it down, I write down every testimony in my life and guess what on the days when i'm feeling sad or i'm feeling like god doesn't hear me or i feel like god is not listening to my prayers and answering them i draw back for my journal and i look into it and i remind myself of how many times god has come through for me and i use that as a motivation to motivate and encourage me that yes god is going to answer this prayer because he did it for me already so he will do it again so you can journalize bible verses that stand out to you you can journalize your prayers you can journalize your answered prayers testimonies you can journalize actually anything that you want to journalize that is relating to god so that you you can just look back and say you know so point three on how to have confidence in god is to simply have a faith in him remember earlier we defined what confidence was and we said that confidence is having faith in something or someone so just have faith in jesus because let me tell you this you can call it faith or trust but in Psalms 25 verses 3, it says, 
no one who trusts in you will ever be put to shame you will never be disgraced once you trust in jesus and you have faith in jesus you will never ever be disgraced and i can testify to this once you have your faith in jesus don't worry about being embarrassed or disgraced because god himself has said it psalms 25 verse 3 no one who trusts in you will ever be disgraced but this grace comes to those who try to deceive others so put your faith in jesus have faith in him and this kind of relates to the first point which was to know what the bible says about you so guys the fourth and final point that i have for you on how to have faith in jesus is to pray to him more often you have to talk to god guys you have to speak to him look at this it's just that you it's just like you speaking to your friends you know if you just meet a person today and you are expected to leave with them something that you value so much maybe you have a large sum of money that somebody says hey leave this with that person and you don't know that person you never speak to that person before you are just meeting them you know know how their voice sounds you don't know how their voice sound you don't know nothing about them you never heard them before you never speak to them before and somebody is telling you to let your large sum of cash with them would you do that no more than likely because you never ever you don't know that person you never talked to that person before the same thing with god if you don't talk to god if you don't know him for yourself if you never speak to him before if you never make an attempt to talk to god and say hey god you know i'm feeling this way or that way god will answer you you know god if you're feeling down and you pray to god and say you know god may i feel down or depressed god will say well i don't know but more than likely because remember god's will for life is all different so more than likely he will just answer your prayers and you know you move accordingly but guys, you have to speak to God. You have to pray, pray, pray. If you have nothing to pray about, just say thank you, God, for life. That is you talking to God. You have to pray from your heart, genuinely. You can't just be like, oh, thank you, God, for life. Because you don't genuinely mean it. If you're saying I love you to your spouse or your child, and you just be like, oh, I love you. They're not going to believe it because you have to show some more emotion to it, you know? Just pray to God, guys, and he, he will instill confidence in you. Because, let me give you all a story. I was very insecure about how I looked, my facial features. And I said, God, please, let me look beautiful. Little did I know that I was already beautiful. But God sent persons around me. As I pray to God, I pray to God, I pray to God, I pray to God. And I said, God, please let me look beautiful. God sent persons around me to let me know that I am indeed beautiful. So you see, when you talk to God, God answers you. He don't just listen and be like, oh, mm. he answers you, guys. So ensure that you pray to him. He will instill confidence in you. Ask him for his confidence and he will give it to you. Guys, I appreciate you so much for sticking to the end of the video. Thank you. Please subscribe and like this video and stay blessed.